for any claim that a company is making, for it to be widely actually trusted, it needs to be widely verifiable. So actual like radical transparency is necessary. I believe in a future where, where we can not only just be told stories, but we can prove these stories and even participate in these stories. So, you know, tra tracking something, a coffee bean from bean to brew, why can't I scan the QR code on my product and actually tip my farmer or participate in that journey and actually give back to that farmer? I was very like torn between university and what do I do next? And we were actually reading To Kill a Mockingbird. And one of the quotes that just stuck with me was when Atticus Finch tells his daughter Scout, you know, you don't truly understand a person until you climb out of your skin and walk around in their skin. And, and she started walking around her in her dad's shoes because she wanted to understand that. And that really stuck with me. And so after graduating high school, I actually joined this volunteer organization, a South African organization to you know, focus on serving underrepresented nations and rebuilding some of these communities. So I did tsunami rebuilding in Thailand and various different things. While just traveling and serving throughout the world, the world actually changed me more than I changed the world. The question that constantly started coming up to me was how do we connect the most disenfranchised individual through a censorship proof network with the biggest organization on the other side? So how do you create this world where, you know, we can know that no child labored over the coffee in my cup this morning or no person died from the diamond on my finger? What we do at Topol is I always say we, we are like building an impact technology economy that enables companies to go through this digital and sustainable transformation across their value chains. Like, and, and at the same time, the empower the monetization of the impact they're making, proving it using our blockchain, the top of blockchain. And so if you're like, we've now seen everything from living wage farming certified coffee from bean to brew, to ethically sourced diamond being tracked from the mine to marriage. And most recently actually, especially being in Houston, carbon neutral energy practices all the way from wind or wells to warmth. And so everything from a coffee chain to a coal chain, if you're changing the world, we're helping companies prove that they're actually doing what they claim they're doing. My personal view is like when a door closes on me, I go through a window and if there's no window, I build that window. So I really think that people should go the un like unconventional ways, really transform lives. So experiences I've had, so like when I was told as a kid that I couldn't run in a race um, because there was no girls race, I actually ended up running in the boys race. When I was told there's no way you could be a CEO of a deep tech company as a female founder, um, I told them to just watch me. And I did that while doing two degrees, um, a master's in economics and PhD in stats at the same time in the slow, like I actually did it in four and a half years where usually you do it in five years uh, for one degree. And so those are the things. So I always tell these students, you know, it's, it's not about, you know, it's about breaking that glass ceiling and it's up to you and do what you love. And especially in our digital world right now, we have so much opportunity for access.